Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome into ForTheLoad.net, best place on the planet to buy vintage electronics. My name is Spencer and today I've got this TIAC CD recorder. The model number is CD-RW890 Mark II. Um, this thing's pretty nice. CD recorders aren't really made anymore, so you're, you don't have too many options. This thing is pretty cheap too. You can get a good deal on it. But let's go ahead and take it out of the box and talk about it. So this is the rear panel of it. You have optical digital input for recording and then analog input for recording as well. And then you have analog output for standard playback. And it was made in China, so. I don't know how you feel about things that were made in China, but they're not always the best quality. So to get it connected, all you have to do is plug in the red and white cable to the output. That's for standard playback. If you want to record, which we're not going to do right now, you have to connect another device to the input. You can record CD to CD, or you can record cassette to CD, vinyl to CD, whatever audio format you want to record, you can do it. So once you have it all wired up, you can power it on, and then we'll go ahead and put a disc in. So we'll show you the playback very briefly and then we'll go over all the front panel options. Dirty papa. No. <laughs> all right, so on the front panel of it, you have your power button right here and then erase and finalize for recording, sync and one all and then auto slash manual if you adjust that you can decide the sync level the volume of the recording then over here you have input select you can select analog in or optical in and then you have a phones jack for listening with some headphones and then you have the volume adjustment for the headphones right there and then you have your record level adjustment for deciding what volume want you want the recording to be and then you have music skip right here and the search function as well. And then this is your open and close, play, pause, stop, and record buttons. And then this is the remote control for it. It's got a few extra options that aren't on there. Um, you can do the program play or shuffle those options aren't on the front and then it's even got a number pad for jumping to a certain track so that's really the basics of this CD recorder uh, it's not one that I would highly recommend I would recommend going with a used or refurbished one before getting this one which we have those available uh, just cuz this one isn't, the quality isn't really there with this one. It is brand new and I mean if you want to save a little money you can definitely go this route and be happy with it. It will record your CDs just fine but you lose a little bit of convenience and quality with it. If you want to order one make sure you get it at ForTheLoad.net. You can call the order or you can check it out on our online store.